Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Denali. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And this is a series that I do on my channel where I sit in my car and I talk about my business. <laughs> so cheers this morning. I made my own coffee because I was trying to be economical in that way. Uh, I made myself a pumpkin spice latte. I ordered some pumpkin spice syrup or pumpkin syrup from Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's the Da Vinci pumpkin sauce. I'll link it down below in case anyone's curious. I prefer a pumpkin sauce and not a pumpkin syrup. That's just a personal preference as a former barista. So that's what I've got this morning. I hope you're enjoying something or you've enjoyed your coffee and breakfast this beautiful cloudy Monday morning up here in Washington state. Let me know how the weather is for you guys. But I was thinking as I was driving in today, to work what did I want to talk about and what I wanted to talk about was clearing out the warehouse so before we get started I just wanted to follow up on my last two videos where I've talked about moving out of the warehouse check those out if you haven't seen them but in my last one I specifically addressed how there was somebody who was interested in possibly subleasing my unit well that fell through after I thought they were pretty serious about it. And so I recapped it in my video last week and I kid you guys not, about an hour after I hit publish on that video, I got another email from the property manager here and they had copied a, another, interested in, another interested party who was interested in subleasing. So at this point, maybe I should just shut my mouth and just wait for somebody to come along who might be interested in moving into this space. So I don't know, nobody, I didn't really follow up with them because at that point I was kind of feeling like I just want to wait out the continuation of my lease and just try and find something early next year. That's kind of where my head game's at at this moment. Um, so part two to that is clearing out the warehouse. So I have a lot of inventory here at the warehouse and I'm not looking to get rid of all of it necessarily because, you know, still want to have inventory in my business. But there's just a lot of stuff that I've had probably for the past year or two in terms of liquidation that's just got to go and I have not been as diligent in terms of getting it cleared out from the warehouse. I never know if I'm supposed to look here or there. Sorry, so if I, you see me looking back and forth, I never know which lens I'm supposed to look at. But anyways, so one of the things that I've been doing for the past couple weeks actually is I've been listing items on the TikTok shop. So if you're not on TikTok, follow me there. I think my account is just elduccio.thrift, um, but I'll, I'll link it down below in the description for you. One of the reasons that I have been listing items over there is that the fees are kind of nominal over there. Don't ask me what they are off the top of my head. And then also they offer free shipping to your buyers. It is targeted free shipping. I have had people tell me they have free shipping over $15. Like if they spend $15 for some people like myself on the TikTok shop, it's free shipping over $20. So the threshold is pretty low, um, which is great. And then there are a lot of coupons that TikTok and TikTok, yeah, sends out to buyers. So they're able to get some really good deals. I was trying to move my steering wheel out of the way too. Sorry, I'm highly distracted this morning. Maybe I'll just lean over like this. So I have, um, let's see, what have I listed over there? I listed some makeup palettes. I sold through all those. Those sold wildly quick. Um, last week I listed some jackets. I sold four jackets last week. I still have like six more listed over there for only $25 plus free shipping. So that's kind of my strategy right now. I don't know. Maybe that seems like a weird one. I know a lot of people are like, do some live selling like Poshmark live or whatnot. I maybe will at some point. At this moment, it's not like the thing I'm most interested in doing. I just found in my experience when I did live selling last year, I think last summer, <clears throat> that items just don't sell for that much. And so I'm not like, I'm not against letting things go for really cheap, but yeah, I'm just trying this different avenue for myself right now at this point because it just, it feels like it's been working. And I've been, you know, I feel like I've been pricing items to sell. Like I said, like the jackets are 25 bucks. I can't remember if I said that. Like the makeup palettes, I sold them for $10. That was a steal. 
Um, but I do have other stuff listed over there currently. I just need to, I need to keep listing more stuff. So I have um, some coats from Anthropology. You maybe have heard me talk about them in the past if you watch my channel. Um, but I'm gonna list those over there for $25 as well. It's like two different styles of puffer jackets. One is like a lavender and one is, I think it's black with like flowers on it. So I'm gonna get those listed over there. So check your TikTok shop account um, because you could get them 50% off and then get free shipping. So it's just a really great deal. So that's been my strategy. I don't know, it kind of feels like a weird one to be like, yeah, I'm using TikTok shop to kind of liquidate and move some of my inventory, but there's just such a wide audience and net that you can catch there. Um, you never really know when a vi like a video is gonna kind of go viral or catch a little bit. And there's just an opportunity to sell a lot of stuff really quickly. I did a video on this probably two, three months ago where I had some bobble bar jewelry that I just did an unboxing on TikTok, um, but it went viral. I think I got like, I don't know, it was over 2 million views. And I sold out of the jewelry in like, I don't know, almost like a day or two. Uh, there's a little bit of the jewelry left, but um, for the most part, I sold pretty much all of it uh, really quickly. And it was like $3,000 in sales in like a day or two. It was kind of insane. <laughs> um, so yeah. So that's kind of been my thought process. If, you know, this doesn't end up kind of working out or going in the direction that I want it to or whatever doesn't sell through TikTok shop, I suppose I will do whatnot and all those other platforms. I have been doing some, people have said like do mystery boxes or whatever. So on my second Poshmark account, I have been listing um, five piece new with tag and new without tag clothing boxes for $20, which is pretty good. Um, and I did them by size. So anyways, I'll link that down below, but there's not a lot of those left at this point. I think that there's, oh shoot, I had it. I forgot some stuff that I was going to bring in today. Anyways, <laughs> squirrel brain. Um, there's not too much left. I don't know. Go check it out. I've sold like a ton of them so far. So if you're curious, you can go peep that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of been it in terms of how things have been going here. Um, my focus today, maybe I'll do some shipping. I don't have to do shipping technically. Somebody's texting me. Oh, it's my dad. Um, I don't have to ship today because there is no USPS pickups, drop-offs, whatever. I mean, I suppose you could drop stuff off. They have like a mail shoot or whatever. Um, but the post office is closed today. So just a heads up about that. So if you do shipping, it's kind of like, it's a freebie day, a little bit of time to catch up from the weekend, which is great. And um, otherwise, I think I'm gonna probably do some photographing today because um, one of my employees was supposed to work yesterday, but then didn't work yesterday. And so anyways, I'm gonna, yeah. I just need some more photographing done. So that's what's my, on my agenda. Let me know what you guys have going on for the week. And I'm gonna film another haul video this week. It's gonna be the last part of my big three-part haul that I've been doing. So if you have, haven't seen those videos, I know sometimes people say that my videos don't pop up for one reason or another, <laughs> go check those out. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you're having a great start to your week great start to your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.